What's cracking guys, JP here again, bringing you another update of my 20 gallon reef tank. Now ever since I cleaned out my JBAO PP4, my previous mode which was W2 and max intensity, it was just too strong. My little coral frags, my torch frags was just getting blown over. So I changed it to the C mode now. And instead of the W2, uh, it's a much, you know, you need to have another Jibao head for this, but since it's not, then it's just turning on and off. And it's just a little bit in a quicker side, the knob is right here, intensity 2. So yeah, my W2 was just too strong, but I found a perfect spot where the Jibao will just basically kick, kick on. And then my filter, my, uh, you know, my hang on the back will just uh, kick on and, and it will create the fake wave. So there's a turning on, off, and then shortly after, I turn on again. So it's not that turning on and off right away. It's a bit slower. So my torch coral is loving it. It's been about an hour since I turned off my lights. And you can kind of see, there's a ruler right there underneath, that's the 12 inch ruler. And that torch is almost 8 inch in skeleton and about maybe 10 inch for a uh, tentacles. And just sway, swaying, swaying through the current. And if you go to the side, it's even bigger, it's actually very very thick. Extra stick, <laughs> but yeah. So far, so good. My torch is loving the current. I'm not sure about my gold hammer. I just got got home, and this is what I found. I'm not sure if it's the lower flow or the change flow, but my green hammer seems to like it. It's definitely exploded in size because it was just getting blasted with flow earlier. So, I don't think it's getting lesser flow. Maybe it is, but my red Monty caps seems doing okay. You can kind of see the growth rings on the sides there. There we go. It's a good sign. It's starting to encroach on the glass actually. Why I put this on the side because uh, before it was in the middle, and I can't have any corals underneath. It was just getting shadowed. And then I still have a few, uh, you know, you can kind of see little Monty frags left behind. My green Digi is growing on the side, the leftover. But the funny thing is, you can kind of see that, can you see that the uh, orange spots? I think those are new polyps from the green Digi. But I don't know where he got the orange coloration if it's just a pure green Digi. It's kind of very, very odd. It's not a mixture. The new polyps that's growing is just orange, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, for the frog spawn, the bi color frog spawn, I'm still kind of surprised that they're actually not killing each other. Before, my green torch right here and this frog spawn was basically touching. And they're not sending any sweeper tentacles, so. Pretty good so far. Uh, my GSP is basically encroached on that glass, starting to grow on. The same as here, see this? It's a little bit orangey. Kinda, it's kind of hard, but that's a green digi right there. It's on the floor or the ground, and it's kind of orange. But I don't know, maybe it's not getting enough light. But, but probably the next video, I'll probably show you how much algae or macroalgae I will take out. For this tank and I hope you like this video guys or this quick update and see you to the next video uh, thanks for watching thanks for the likes comments and subscribers and I hope you will have a wonderful time so happy reef keeping adios